Hi everyone, just a quick new project share. Uh, some of my Facebook friends already saw her. I uh, posted um, most recently my second crocheted Tilda doll. I finally got to finish her. Just gonna pull her out of the chair. Lovely chair that I find in a thrift shop. And this is how she looks. Just love the dress. Start with her tiny boots. The boots are also crocheted to her legs and embellished with some lace trim, a little tiny bow with some doodads and some teeny tiny buttons that I hand sewed and then embellished with a little bling center. Now for the dress I had again fantastic help from my mother-in-law. She helped me with the dress. And there are two layers of fabric. There's a stripe fabric underneath and it has three layers of lace. And then there's the second layer, this beautiful rose trim, ruffle trim, and then this Chinese braid. The fabric was gifted to me as well by my mother-in-law. Just so happy, <laughs> so happy she gave it to me. She just fits nicely and snugly into the chair. And if we continue, gonna pull her hair aside. There's, she has this bow in the middle that's been embellished with a bridal applique that I bought from Florence H. Finish the top of the dress with the same ruffled lace as the dress. Her neck has a nice, lovely bling choker. And then a big bow in her hair, which is, as you can see, very long hair. The back is just plain and simple. And my dog is sniffing around and then yeah her arms are also finished with a ruffled lace and some bow really love this color i'm so happy my mother-in-law gifted these beautiful gorgeous fabrics and she just looks amazing in this little chair she just fits nicely And another little project share, so this is my Tilda Don Leafer here in the background, is, yep, I've been also crocheting some fingerless mittens. I'll start with the more simple ones, and if I can find the tutorials that I followed, I will link them below. These are just plain simple purple ones, no embellishment or nothing, just nice and warm. And here there's a little variation on the purple ones. Use some eyelash trim on top and the bottom. They stretch. I'm gonna put her on the floor, my little girl. And this is another variation. This is Maybe more an elegant one with a very light gray and some white eyelash trim. I've been seeing them and they were are circling around now on YouTube, so I thought I might as well show mine as well. And this is a tighter one, but as I said, it's yarn, it will stretch. And this is another variation. Just alternated the rows with eyelash trim and a blue yarn. And then there's two more. And this one has, a, I think it's called a bee stitch. These are very tight, but still fit. Love this bubbled stitch and especially the border here underneath 
and then the last one I think this one was done with a crocodile stitch each time with each stitch then uh, the number of stitches were adapted because as you see this one is again a stitch that is a little bit tighter on your hands I'm not really a green fan but the combination of these two greens really look lovely so that's another quick project chair my Tilda doll and some of my fingerless mittens thank you all for watching and commenting bye